Hi everyone, I'm Cinder 9 Welcome back to Let's Play Scribble Knots Unlimited. Back to the Oasis, Oasis really quick. Monkey. Barrel of monkeys. Makes sense after I was I was told to put monkeys in in there. So thank you very much, comment section. Next, let's head to Volcano. Welcome to Volcano. Oh, and Camel Case, thank you very much for uh, pointing that out as well. You guys are awesome. You very. Uh, you point out stuff in your comments. It's really cool, and I appreciate it. Um, camel case is when you do... Can I show that off here? No. It's when you have uh, two words together, but you just capitalize the letter. So camel case, the C in camel would be uh, capitalized, and then the C would be capitalized. You capitalize every... Uh, the first letter of every word. Uh, it, it was explained better in the in the comments, better than I'm saying it, uh, last episode, so uh, check that out as well. Let's see what's going on here. You look like an evil villain of sorts. Leon. My ray gun needs a colder source of power. Give me something to change my ray gun into a freeze ray. Hmm. Liquid nitrogen. This'll do it. Promise. <laughs> no? Do I put that there? Hmm. Maybe you want a small iceberg. Iceberg. No. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean, I gave you liquid nitrogen. Um. Ice. There we go. Freeze ray gun. Now play as Maxwell's brother, Leon. What? Uh, that? Hmm. Frozen Lair and a Frozen Leon. Well, you'll unthaw later, bro. That's why you don't play with uh, freezing ray guns. This was a terrible vacation spot. Help me ward off dehydration. A brown dryad. I can do that. Rain cloud. There you go. Dried up dryad. Which are like for a forest spirit. So. What's going on here? Give me something so I can play fetch with my dog. It's a titan. Your dog is also a behemoth. But considering how big you are, this makes sense. You need a large bone. Not just a small one. But you need a big one. Fetch! If only all behemoths were like that. Hello! Halfling! I forgot what I was supposed to throw in this volcano. Well, considering you're a halfling, you're wearing a green cape, and you're in a volcano. Pretty sure you need to throw this. Just throw it in! Oh, oh, well. And there's a Colossal Fast Eagle for you to get out so you don't die. And thus ends the journey of Frodo Baggins. Anyway, <laughs> that was a uh, uh, Lord of the Rings reference, all of that, if you didn't get it. 
Provide the spark of life. Small pillar. Ash. Fire. From the ashes! Oh, it's a baby phoenix! Someday, it will grow up and be one of the most useful summons in Final Fantasy history. Um... <laughs> Help me temper this magic sword. Blacksmith. Oh, I'm all down for magic swords. You need a... Um... Adamantium... Hammer. There you go. Forging greatness. What'd you make? Ballistic, spectacular, invincible, golden Excalibur. That is some Excalibur. Is it? Did you make Excalibur too? Is that basically what you made? <laughs> I'm taking it, by the way. Thank you. Ours. Um, that's not good. This is a cockatrice, isn't it? Yeah. The death of many an adventuring party. Cockatrice could turn a party of adventurers to stone. And then that's game over. It happens. It's really annoying. Happens a lot in games. I don't like them. Free us from the cockatrice's petrifying gaze. The wizard and the crusader are petrified. Now, you see, here's the problem. They didn't bring the cleric with them. That could remove petrification. Now, if the cleric gets petrified, then again, that's that's game over. Or the healer, if you will. Um, but this is one of the most hated enemies for me. Bye! Petrifying stare! Oh, what's up, Crusader? My crown is lost in this volcano. Please return it to me. Sure. Oh, I want to take it with me. Oh, well. Pick this up. Uh-oh. Large steel door. Buoyant, waterproof, great large fire vent. I see. We're going to have to Indiana Jones this. That's fine. Bag of gold. Old bag of gold. Big old gold. Sure. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Give. There you go. Retrieving the crown. And they're now going to go through the blue portal? Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> Excavator. I struck ooze. Find a way to contain it for me. Oh, well, that's a problem. You have struck ooze. Well. Fire proof, proof cage. As in the container. Never works how I want it to. Red cinder like ooze. Frozen. Don't be scared, can't do anything now. <laughs> I would blow this up, but you're in the way. Giant cage. Hmm. I'm just going to hit it. You should run. Hopefully that doesn't kill you. See, it's fine. Oh, all right.
in the backpack. Reset the level. Oh, I didn't save the orange. Oh, well. Let's try this again. Contain. Giant cup. Take this. Put it inside. Striking ooze, and then you ate it. That was a bad idea. Yeah. What part of that did he think was a good idea? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Hi. Throw dinner into my cauldron. It's a cannibal. Well. brain tastes like chicken I am pretty sure brain does not taste like chicken I mean I'm I wouldn't know but no almost positive go away that's <laughs> just for my enjoyment Alright, there's still one more Starite shard here that we can find somewhere. <laughs> Not over here. Oh! Turkey? Terratorn. I need to step out, but I can't leave my egg alone. Oh, sure. Are you my mama? Yes, I guess so. I, I made the female. I didn't know if that was a female or the male. Could have been the female. Aww. Wait, are you following us? <laughs> I, I like when it's baby. It has the uh, pacifier and and stuff. It's really cool. Um. Oh well, I can't do anything. We just had to be there, I get it. Volcano Sacrifice. Help save the village from a volcano that's about to erupt. The volcano erupting would be bad. So I assume there's some fire spirit. The volcano is going to erupt. Help save the shaman's village by sacrificing objects to the volcano goddess. Write three bounties of earth to throw into the volcano. Alright. Um, flowers. Do I just throw it into the volcano? Yes. Potato. <laughs> And a carrot. I'm hungry, if you can't tell. <laughs> Still not happy. Wow, that's not good. What else does she want, shaman? Volcano's still angry. Maybe it's unhappy with our dependence on technology. Try to appease it by writing more sacrifices. Append uh, dependence on technology, huh? Mech. Um. Phone. Not answering that. <laughs> and, um. Battery. Oh, TV. TV would have been a good one as well. You need to calm down.
Volcano keeps rising. Perhaps the volca volcano goddess wants a monetary sacrifice. Create a donation for the volcano. Of course. It's always about the money, isn't it? <laughs> well, how about some gold? Yeah, money! Yeah? Okay, we should just leave. Start the evacuation procedures. <laughs> Oh, hi! The offerings did not work. Now the volcano goddess has appeared and is demanding a love interest. Write a mate she'll be happy with. It's a flying goddess. Okay. Hi. Hmm. <laughs> Cling! Okay, good. Well, that stopped the volcano from from uh, blowing up. I'm just gonna take this. Whew! Volcano sacrifice. All right. There's one more starite piece here that we can grab. One more starite. Hi. What's your problem? Monster attack. Ward off the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Now, I am equipped to deal with a lot of things, but <laughs> now we're starting to get <laughs> to the upper echelon of stuff. Monster attack! Why have I put on a tiki mask? Sure. Oh, well. <sighs> Deter the four horsemen. Stop the disease brought on by pestilence. It is pestilence. Oh yeah? Well I have I can uh work magic and stuff too now. Medicine. Where did it go? That's not for you. What now? Ah, <laughs> uh, you must be deaf. Oh no, you're war. The disease has passed, but war has broken out. Find a way to stop the war. Alright, war. I figured you'd be dressed in red. Who will help end the war? Hmm. Go she aid or a A peaceful negotiator. Listen. <laughs> Peace. Yeah, no war. Next. Okay. That's you. Famine. Well, that's not cool. That's not nice, famine. War has ceased, but famine has depleted their food supply. Help by feeding the natives. Grand Feast. Can't stop me. Hi. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> and then, of course, despite filling their stomachs, death has taken them. Find a way to ward off death by bringing them back to life. I need a... Hmm... Heal them. Cleric's got this. No problem. <laughs> so I talked about clerics earlier. <laughs> I mean, de this is a cleric, and considering, you know, this this life where I can make anything, she can pull from any number of of uh, healing spells. She could use resurrection. She could use raise dead. She could use life. I plenty of spells to choose from. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. <laughs> Moving on from the volcano 
to Tilde Reef. Again, Tilde. <laughs> Following the, uh... That's not good. <laughs> hey, it's a fit cell card. I saw the fit cell, uh... Logo. And don't worry, Starlight can breathe underwater. I'm trapped! Help get me out of this abandoned net! There we go. Tangled up. Now there's not much here. <clears throat> My light is too dim to attract prey. Help by applying an adjective to me. Bright. A light meal. And some poor fish. Yep. Munch. Well, hey, what's going on, bro? Dale, help! I'm running out of air. That's not good. We can't have the brother suffocate. Scuba gear. You should take that. My iron lung. It's a damaged black rally car. And that got turned into an waterproof aquatic black rally car. Aquatic. Nice job, mechanic. That's uber impressive. That clam has the perfect pearl for my collection. What clam? This clam? Wait, what? Pink suspect jellyfish. Come back here. Give me that. The prized pearl. And then it just slapped it away. No, my pearl. <laughs> Go on, clownfish. Some of our home has been destroyed. Create something to help the reef regrow. Hmm. Coral. No. Hmm. Moss. What could help the reef regrow? Builder fish. <laughs> Aw. Um. Smart fish. As in the animal, not the food. Hmm. What could help it regrow? Re Regenerating coral. drop no I don't know but that's the only thing left here there really wasn't much here to do it till they reap so uh, let's head to dot of course dot the island and we'll spend the rest of the episode here welcome to dot the island I want to go diving, but I'm not properly equipped. Again, scuba gear. <laughs> it helps so much when you want to go diving. Have fun! I wonder if there's anything over here, by the way. Oh, no, he's just going to the next place. That doesn't look good. A flaming oil rig. That's bad. Oil rig emergency. 
I would say so. If someone would change the weather, I could find the floating castle. Was it too cloudy? Sun. Does that help? What happened? Shrunken! Oh, there's the floating castle. Ah, oh, to, to show that it's big. I gotcha. Does that help? Hmm. Maybe I gotta get rid of the rain cloud. I don't see anything for me to actually change like a cloud. Okay. Double clicking is attack. Got it. <laughs> hmm. Well, come back to that. Dress me like a Viking and I'll captain that ship at sea. To Squire. And dress me like a pirate. Like a Viking. Ah, pirate versus Viking. Horned hat. Not quite what I was go going for, but close enough. <laughs> and dress you like a pirate, huh? Eye patch! Yar. <laughs> You're a Viking! You're a pirate. Well, they're gonna fight. Yep. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Who do you have in the fight? Pirates or Vikings? I don't know. That's a tough one. Skull. White service cap. Her beautiful voice is hypnotizing me. You're a siren, aren't you? So mean. Mute. I'm so lonely. Help me enhance my voice to find a friend. Why would I do that? <laughs> you just make people drown. Okay, um, loud. Squid? The siren's call. Don't listen, Lily. Who I think is still shrunk. Baby Lily. There you go. Whoa! Which takes the, uh, baby off of our dragon here. Let's see, still have some Starite shards we could go after. I'm shipwrecked! Give me something to signal a rescue! Well, handy dandy flare gun! Hey, rescue pilot! Signal for help! Whee! <laughs> Can also be used as an emergency weapon if you absolutely have to. <laughs> hmm. Well, before I bring this episode to a close, why don't we go ahead and do the Starite? Mission here, a dark and floody night. Help the lighthouse keeper keep his lighthouse safe through the storm. Well, we can try.
Sandbags. <laughs> Still have a flare gun. Oh, flare! <laughs> There's a storm coming that will flood the island. The lighthouse keeper's wife needs something to contain their valuables. A sturdy, sturdy chest. Huh. Yep, we'll just crane that up. Bye. We can't get any reception in the storm. Create something tall and thin to boost our signal. Well, that's not, that's not good. If you can't uh, get out to people, how about a tall radio tower? We'll just hoist that up there. We'll make it bigger. <laughs> there we go. Wow, you did a great job, Engineer. That's impressive. You probably want to swim up to the raft, guy. The island is flooding. Keep the lantern of the, of the lighthouse above water until the flood recedes or the incoming ship will crash. Large lantern. Um... Hmm. Well, it wouldn't matter if it was waterproof. Ah, I need that. Protect the lantern from the rising flood. Okay, I got it. Try using an object that could get rid of the water. Oh, um... Oh, okay. <laughs> Me, apparently. <laughs> oh, hey, and it's sunny again. Glad we could help out. Not what I wanted to remove, but a <laughs> dark and floody night. <laughs> okay, there are still some starite shards uh, here. We'll grab them next time, and then we will head to. Alliteration Abyss. Alliteration, again, fits everything. <laughs> I like that. That's really clever. It's really clever out of the game creators. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a lot of fun uh, laughing at the different things that, that happened this episode. Until the next one. I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.